boy. Would you look at that? Sitting real low. Well, it's not, not like crazy slammed, but holy smokes. Dude, this looks awesome. Hey everybody, we are out here at Jason's shop, Evans Automotive. It finally warmed up, all the snow melted, the shop's back up and running. So we are out here getting back at it. We're not working on anything in preparation for Rocky Mountain Race Week today. Uh, daily driver stuff today. We had some daily driver action going on. Um, we're going to be working on this 1997 uh, GMC Sierra C1500 today. I bought this truck from Jason's dad. Danger Dan. Danger Dan for a, a pretty good deal. Uh, it's all stock sitting at stock height. It's got the uh, five se the five seven liter V eight in it. Here you can see already working on modifying the front end. What are we doing today, Jason? Putting a three four drop kit on front and rear. We got springs, shackles, shocks, bump stops, angle fixers. Fix the angle on the rear drive shaft, and then we've got some just basic maintenance we're doing too. Idler arm, pitman arm, and front brakes. He's getting bad pulsation and shaking the steering wheel when he hits his brakes. So, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. get all that fixed, get it all lowered, make it look nice. Maybe he'll wash it once in a while and keep it looking clean. Oh, that, okay. You know what? That That is baloney. I washed this thing. I washed it before I brought it over here today. Not, well, not today, but yesterday. Oh, it's dirty because window. it's still wet outside. Oh, here we go with these. Uh, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, well, uh, we got it up on the lift. We're going to get the wheels off, get it up in the air, and uh, start going. pulling the stock suspension from 1997 out and put this awesome Beltec Street Performance kit in. Hey, this is a, a really nice it 97 GMC Sierra. It's got like 140,000 original miles. Uh, yeah, 140,000 original miles. Yeah. I've added about 8,000 to that. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the nice thing about this truck is it came with the uh, SS uh, package wheels. So the, the tires that are on it now I'm are... I'm going to steal those from him. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude, yeah, these are mine forever. I don't care how much Danger Dan regrets it. These, fact, Jack. these are my wheels now. So they didn't have these tires on them originally. They, I, I put the 275 60s on them um, because I, I mean, I'm pretty oh, sure <laughs> those are the uh, stocks on the 454 SS, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I went with the stock sizes. <laughs> but yeah, look at this. All these parts. These, these are all original Ooh. 1997 parts. <laughs> So it's going to be a whole new experience with all the uh, all this fresh stuff on it. But look at this big difference. So the problem that I was talking about is right here. These cables go through that. The last one I did, they bolted to it. Yeah. So we have to unhook the cable potentially, or I'm going to have to cut that and that and slide these out. If you look, these go like... <laughs> As I fall over, this will come up in here like this and sit like that. So you move your leaf spring up here, but it still maintains on top of the rear axle. So it's not a flip kit, but that will drop in substantially. All right. All right. Decisions were made. <laughs> Air tools coming in. Well, that was a lot better. I don't know. I'm pretty hard to. There's one out. 
I was actually surprised that, like, I actually, I guess I didn't really try to compress it. It's actually longer. <laughs> it is slowly, seemingly longer. But I'll bet this one doesn't come back up when I let go. <laughs> That's because that one's blown out. <laughs> well, this explains why the ride in the rear is so rough. So this shock is th this, destroyed. Yeah, this Beltec shock is going to improve the ride significantly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I it, it like it literally just doesn't even do it. Yeah, it's it said no, I'm good. Uh, it's not moving at all. This one's, you can tell it's been leaking. Yeah, I was going to say, the second shock clearly has got... <laughs> Is it moving at all? No. <laughs> it just bottomed out and stayed there. Wow. That's wow. what the wild, those ones are actually longer. They've obviously got a lot more movement in them as well. You would think after all these years of doing this, I could be more ambidextrous in my workplace. <laughs> Psych! Nope. And it's in. Boom. Mm -hmm. Gotta watch out for that 1997 dirt coming off there. For sure. Well, it looks torqued tight to me. <laughs> That's torqued to spec right there. Yeah, torqued to, torque to tight. That's what we do around here. All right, number two. There you go. I knew it. The things in the way. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's factory that wouldn't be there. Okay. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Both sides. All right. So. So where are we now that we've managed to get the stubborn bolts out? What, what are we, we doing those now? Out. We're going to take, well, we're getting ready to replace this. We're getting ready to put this one in there. Take the old one out. It's right here. We're going to knock it out in just a second. Boom. There it is. Got a little bit of rust down yeah, in there. It's a little dirty. And then we're going to put this one back up in here. Like so. Nice. And now the top one's almost all the way in too. That's brute force right there. Sometimes you just hit it with your big purse, you know? <laughs> all right, new rear shackle. Done. So now we're on to this piece where you got to do the cutting. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, it's hold already. on. What's, what is this that's happening right here? To be honest, I'm trying to figure out what this square piece is and what these two things are. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's like four different sets of instructions. I, I have to point out that this is Mr. I never need instructions sitting I really here. I don't I just don't know what these two bolts are. You wanna read the instructions? No, I don't need them. <laughs> Sitting here, literally looking at instructions. <laughs> Just gonna hopefully cut these out. Ah. 
bang, boom. So now just to cut the rivets out of this thing. like that leave move the perch for the leaf spring up and in turn whole truck comes down nice well it only took a couple hours to get that one out <laughs> that actually went really fast <laughs> really we need to go back and up here let me push back while you push i'm oh, sorry You know who'd be good for this job? Bertha! Bertha! Seven eight socket I had earlier takes the wheel off. This side is just gonna be a quick little zip. Shut up! <laughs> you quit saying that. <laughs> Every <laughs> time you say, <laughs> it's gonna be quick. <laughs> Boy, watch yourself. <laughs> Push in on the impact harder when you're taking them off. <laughs> there you go. That way, I'll freaking back. <laughs> Lean your head back too, in case that flies out and flush you in the mouth. Uh, I'm speaking from experience. I may or may not have taken one to the lip a few times. Yeah. Alright. Now on to the other side. So we're about done with the rear, get this all buttoned up, and then we'll move to the front and be done for the night. And so as you can see, we have the perch and the shackle, kind of dark, can't see that one too well, but they are set up on both sides. Whew. We're gonna put the back wheels on. You're gonna see how far these are gonna be sitting up in the wheel well. All right, rear's all done, wheels are back on. We dropped it down a bit to help let it settle. We've now moved to the front and we're gonna get the front shocks and coils all done and call it a day. 
hopefully in not too much longer. <laughs> Close and personal video of me just eating it. Out with the old. How do you get this out of here? It's supposed to come back up. Well, I don't know if it's going to shoot out of here or not. Oh. That's it? That's all we're worried about? Yeah. Okay. Hey. I was kind of trying to get out of the way, but that wasn't too bad. So it's about a full coil difference. Yeah. So, which means it should be easier to go together. I mean, you keep saying it. These just make it a little bit taller. Yeah, I don't want, we don't want that. We want a just slam. This, yeah, just put this one back on. We don't need no spacers. We don't need no spacers. We're going to slam it all the way. Okay. That's good right there. Is that a good noise? Not the noise I wanted to hear right now. It sounded like you just broke the nut or bolt. Was I correct? 10 out of 10. Especially right like when you're almost done with the project. You know? Yeah, I know, right? We're like right at the end. All right, so as you guys saw, we ran into a bit of a problem and broke a bolt off trying to attach the uh, front struts. We decided uh, we were just gonna call it a night. It was 10 o'clock. Both of us felt like going home and getting a hot shower and a warm meal at that point. Uh, right now we're back at the shop. We're getting it all finished up. Jason's already got the uh, lowering kit all finished up, the brakes on. Uh, he's throwing on the Pitman and idler arms right now. And then that'll be it. Here is the nice pile of everything we took out. So we got the front struts, rear shocks, front springs, this uh, tow hitch, which I'm actually gonna keep that and get it powder coated. And then the uh, stock shackle bits. Oh boy. Oh boy, would you look at that. Sitting real low. Well, it's not, not like crazy slammed, but holy smokes. Dude, this looks awesome. Is this my truck? Oh yeah. Oh my Lord. Look, I'm taller than your truck now. I know. Now, now we really need to get it painted. <laughs> that is some low action right there. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So we are 100% finished now with the truck. It looks awesome, sitting real low. The only thing we have left to do for this truck, it, it's a daily, so we're not gonna put any go fast parts in it. You know, I wanna have good fuel economy and be able to drive it to work. Reliability be, being a big one. We do have some time set up to get this over to Rain Shop to get, get the hood. Repainted. Yeah, hood. The roof we're gonna be repainted. We're also gonna get the trim taken off the side. Just make it look a little bit cleaner and then maybe I'll clean it and detail it since I apparently never do that. 
Look at this. Things like spotless on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> Telling me I don't clean it. Bash ain't even cracked or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all we have going on uh, today. We are going to do some more daily driver action coming up probably next week. Uh, we got some wheels coming in from my wife's Audi A4. We got the uh, drop springs in for that. So uh, we'll have some Audi action going on soon. And then hopefully Cadillac CTSV parts on the way. We'll hopefully be getting that thing in here soon and getting it ready for Rocky Mountain Race Week. Um, subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with us. Thanks a lot, guys. Leave a like and comment below. <laughs> <laughs>